It's Handy Face again, with a little guide on alchemy. So uh, not not a lot of people uh, use alchemy in Skyrim because it's a little bit complicated at, at the start. So uh, I'm gonna explain it a little bit. Actually, it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. Basically, of course, what you'll do is you grab just flowers and other ingredients. Let's see, just run around in a field. Doesn't matter where. And look, there are some flowers. Uh, and the mushrooms. And a root. Death bell. You can also catch fish or bugs. Look, there's a bug. Dragonfly. Uh, yeah, fishing. You can just fish them up with your hands. You don't need a fishing rod or do a stupid uh, mini game or something. And there's a mud crab. You can kill that one, and it'll give you an ingredient. You can tell it's uh, alchemy ingredients because it has four effects. Uh, when you start with alchemy, you only you you don't really know any effect, so uh, it'll just say unknown, 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 unknown. Basically, for alchemy, you need to pick up every ingredient you can find. That's oh look, there's another one. Uh, this is also an ingredient. You can just harvest all the things you can see, all the plants and fish. It's best to just do this for a while and then. Uh, go to a city with full pockets I will just go to let's see the Dragon's Reach in Whiterun well actually you can also go to the alchemy vendor there's a there's a, yeah there's an alchemy vendor which sells a lot of ingredients the ingredients she sells are pretty expensive but usually you can get the money back by just selling the potions you make of it so uh, Arcadia's cauldron it's called let's see I I usually just go to her and ingredients and just, and just buy them all so now you have a pretty big bag of alchemy ingredients now you have to go to an alchemy lab and uh, I've got all these effects uh, you'll discover them once you get going uh, you should start with ingredients and with the ingredients you can just click one and uh, choose to combine three ingredients that's the best because um, uh, an alchemy ingredient has four effects like this one blister word has damage stamina frenzy restore health and fortify smithen so if you combine uh, uh, an ingredient with another ingredient with the same effects like uh, let's see the butterfly wing and the blister word both have damage stamina. So if we combine those, as you can see right here, it made a potion. Damage stamina. Now if you want to um, discover the unknown properties, as you can call it, uh, you have to just go to your inventory, press ingredients, and uh, let's see you have to find a uh, ingredient with the first property as unknown so uh, I don't think I have that yeah uh, let's see uh, like this tap root I, uh, normally everything's unknown so once you click it and eat it you will know the first property 
uh, but you can also go to oh I'm level up go to the alchemy tab now this perk is really useful uh, when you eat the ingredient ingredients you will learn all the effects so um, I've got two points in that so I will uh, get three effects yeah I'll get three effects so I can also choose to learn the effects in the alchemy table this is pretty useful you can just choose between uh, three ingredients like this one and this one doesn't have a lot of effects and just choose another one now what it will do it's it will uh, combine all 12 effects because you've got three ingredients and every matching effect will make a potion and you will unlock the the effect right here so let's try this one nothing so they have nothing in common three more I sell cures for all ills. Garlic. Well, if you do this on a low level, you'll unlock a lot of effects because I already have a lot of them. Okay, and um, whenever you unlock. Okay, so uh, the system will will just uh, remember which combinations you've already used, and they will gray out. So you don't have to do this because they will just fail. Uh, so what you could just do is combine everything that's white and then try it out you can also just select one and then um, when you select two ingredients you see unknown effects so that means it, uh, the the ingredients don't really have something in common but it may be the case because it doesn't know all the effects yet so I really like to know another effect of the canis root so let's just try some of them out. Damage stamina. Unknown effect. Nothing. Bear claws. Look, now this is what I wanted to see. You will create a potion, of course, but you will also discover these effects fortify one handed for both bear claws and canis root. So they both had this in common. And now, as you can see in canis root, I've got fortify one handed. Now, why would you do this? Well, this list will just automatically fill up and uh, th this will make it more e easy to make potions. So you could just click this and now you've got a list with weakness to poison ingredients. And then you could just combine them. Fire salts need that for a quest. And yeah, so that's all to it. You can now do your thing and combine everything. And that will level your alchemy skill pretty quick. And when you're done, you can easily just sell it to her. Whoa, where did that bitch go? Oh, there she is. 
You can sell it to her or her neighbor, which is who is a general vendor. And uh, I think that was it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Stay tuned. And we will make more Skyrim videos for you. Goodbye.